the report of what is known as the Gupta Gate scandal. It was meant uh, to come out yesterday. It has now been delayed. Uh, let's find out what actually does need to take place next. There are calls for courts to intervene. Let's take you down to our Cape Town studios. I'm joined by legal expert Professor Pierre DeFosse, who uh, joins us this morning. Professor, good morning to you. Thank you, as always, for your time. Is government's response to Gupta Gate being good enough for you? Well, uh, let me put it this way. It's been better than the response to some of the other scandals that we have seen. For example, the scandal around the uh, upgrading of President Zuma's private home in Kandla, in the sense that the government acted quickly. Uh, they expressed uh, outrage. Uh, there was a, a press conference in which it was said that the truth will set you free. Um, so the initial response seemed to have been quite good. Now the problem is that we are not sure whether uh, the investigation that has been launched is actually uh, going to be made public, which is a, uh, a worrying problem. And secondly, of course, there's a larger problem uh, regarding the entanglement of, of business and politicians and the question of whether there's actually a body, an independent body, that can actually investigate possible uh, situation of corruption. And that has not been mentioned uh, or raised in any way. And I think that is the next step that we have to think about. Does the South African government use investigations to mitigate public outrage, do you think? Well, that is why I'm saying that it's, it's a it is helpful to have an investigation, of course, but then there has to be follow-up on the investigation. Firstly, the investigation has to be, of course, credible. So if it's an uh, internal investigation, it's less credible than an independent investigation. Secondly, uh, if the results of that investigation is never made public, then the situation arises where people start thinking, well, maybe this has been a bit of a mechanism to manage the public outrage and uh, to al allow situation to die down and to calm people's um, emotions uh, without actually having the intention of taking real steps of all those involved in the situation. And, and the third thing is, of course, that there is a tendency to um, create scapegoats for people lower down on the officialdom's uh, roster mm. and not actually to allow for investigation of the most senior people and especially politicians in the process. So uh, that can create some cynicism every time that the government well, Should uh, uh, this then be taken, uh, my apologies Professor, I didn't mean to be rude, uh, should this then go yeah. as far as the court's Dale McKinley from uh, one of the right to, to know organizations saying that this should go to the courts to force government to release this finding. Is that a, a call you would support? Well, well, one would hope that they would do so without having to be forced to do so. Um, the, this is, of course, often the problem that, that they, uh, and it's an increasing problem that there's more secrecy. Um, and it's, it is really not possible for there to be open, transparent of, uh, and accountable government as the Constitution requires if uh, the government does not uh, uh, release these reports. So that would be a final option. I, I think a, a court would be uh, a bit reluctant to get involved in such a matter, but if there's no other way of actually getting such reports released, then, yes, the, the option of going to the court is uh, one that one could consider. Professor, as briefly as possible, uh, if I could ask you, uh, do you think in a situation like we're seeing at the moment, if the Protection of State Information Bill was in place, is this conversation you and I are having right now, would it even be possible? Well, you know, the, the information can be classified in terms of that uh, piece of legislation. Uh, uh, that threaten state security and national security, but that is so widely defined that anything could almost mm. be deemed national security. So if the officials had decided that this was a national security issue, they could have classified all the information about it, and then we wouldn't have known about it, and anybody reporting on it could have been sentenced to prison. That's my reason for asking you. As always, a huge pleasure to have you on the show, Professor. Thank you very much. From our Cape Town Studios, legal expert, Pierre de Force. News that moves. ENCA.com.